Huron River is a much-loved aspect of the Nichols Arboretum. It has been a haven for wildlife and humans alike. But there was trouble in paradise. Heavy use, lack of vegetation, concrete, and the natural flow of the river all contributed to severe degradation of the banks. Without a stable bank, and without vegetation to hold the bank, soil and debris washed into the river. Attempts were made to stabilize the bank, but concrete placed on the shore in the 1970s was not an adequate solution. Well, the River Bank Rescue Project started a few years ago as we were trying to come up with a way to, to rehabilitate the shoreline that was badly eroding. The goal of the project is to, to stabilize what is a, an eroding riverfront with uh, native plants and to provide habitat for a variety of birds and animals while still really providing for people to have access to the river and uh, help maintain a really attractive spot that people like to enjoy. Well, natural rivers around here would not have a set bank. They would be moving around a lot. Um, a natural solution to that <laughs> would just be accept what they're like. Um, but of course, that doesn't always give access to them. The engineered design of trying to build something to gain better access and to uh, uh, solidify where the river is in relationship to the floodplain um, is probably the only one that would really create consistent and, and practical uh, access to the river from, from an area. It also allowed us an opportunity to really demonstrate some principles of uh, what's sometimes called soft engineering um, as an alternative to really anchoring the shoreline to use plants and, and uh, stone to, to work together to stabilize the, the eroding soils and to use it as a way of learning about those kinds of technologies. Friendly bank stabilization typically uses uh, vegetation. Less friendly bank stabilization uses hardened surfaces, concrete, um, baskets of rocks, things of, things of that sort. And uh, if we're going to stabilize stream banks, it would be nice to do it in an aesthetically pleasing way. And that involves uh, contouring, vegetation, use of logs, things of that sort. We feel really fortunate here in the Arboretum to have such a long stretch of the Huron River. Uh, run through the property and it's clearly one of the magnets that people who come here like to come down and gather at the river. So I think it was pretty natural for us to want to to really capitalize on that and, and make this site as as, uh, as useful as possible. At the same time we wanted to make it as environmentally sound as we possibly could. I think asking about the social benefits along with the environmental impacts is a really important way to think about these issues because if you just view it in terms of some sort of abstract, um, you know, natural untouched environment or, or sediment flows, you leave out what for, for most of us is the most important part of the equation, which is the human enjoyment, the human use of those environments, the ability to take your kids there, to go there with, uh, with, with your buddies and do a little fishing or sit there for a quiet afternoon and read a book. And so I think, again, if we can, if we can make these riverbanks serve that valued societal value, we make people appreciate the river. Variations in uh, changes in shoreline where people have done construction that are that large or larger already. Um, so the negative environmental impacts are probably fairly minimal for this particular project. So in the end, I think it, it really hopefully helps people enjoy the Arboretum in a, in a richer way um, and hopefully attracts more visitors. If it's done well, it'll protect that riverbank for the foreseeable future and it will be uh, a, a aesthetically pleasing place and it will be ecologically healthy. Well, I think the Yaron River is a great uh, resource for the uh, city of Ann Arbor and really for the whole region. Um, the parks we have along the river are wonderful places for people to recreate. Uh, the Arboretum is a favorite one for students. It's great for students to get outdoors in the um, during the school year, uh, sliding down the hills on the uh, uh, cafeteria trays has been a tradition in Michigan ever since uh, the university was established. Um, so using the river as a resource for people rather than as a place for industrial activity I think is just a real benefit and Ann Arbor has done a lot in recent years to try to open up the riverfront and I think that's a very positive um, aspect to the city and very, makes it a much more pleasant place to be. When the 
the revenant.